I'm trying to make these things that anybody can do. These are inside calipers. Basically just a little drum sander. This is a deburring tool. It's a carbide deburring tool. And the cat's gonna help us out. Welcome back. Good afternoon. This is like day three of this project. <laughs> I figured it would take a while. These are inside calipers. Measuring IDs. So I'm gonna take the pipe, put the things inside here. One inch, six hundred and fifteen thousandths. One inch, six fifteen. That's a little smaller than an eighth of an inch. Eighth of an inch is uh, 65. Try to measure the outside and see how close we can get to it. Now, if you notice, when I cut this thing, there's a little bit of a lip inside here. Okay, when I cut it, and that tubing cutter cut it, for a little lip on the inside. So if I have a couple tools, I'm going to have to de deburr that thing out. Try a couple of different wheels I have, and I make that uh, go away. So if I get the right size pipe, slide right in there perfect. I need to measure the pipe out to see what I have. These are dial calipers. Piece of pipe here. Do a quick measurement of. Then it's all beat up on this end here, so I'm gonna measure it down here a little ways. One inch. Ooh, that's really big. 680. That's too big. Well, I got a lathe, I turn this down if I have to. I was trying to find a piece of pipe that don't have to do anything major to. That one's too small. Five, call it five ten. One inch five ten. So still looking. You see where I'm going to cut it. I'm trying to make these things that anybody can do. Local hardware part products. This way it's kind of an easy quick fix for anybody to do, but if I have to machine it, it takes, it takes the fun out of it. This is the regular pipe nipple you buy at the hardware store. Black pipe, six inches long. Try it out and see how it goes. And the cat's going to help us out. 675. One inch, 672. Sixty-six. Who say sixty-six? One inch, sixty-six. So that's going to be too big to get to. But this is one of the tools I was telling you about. This is a thing here. This is a deburring tool. It's a carbide deburring tool. You buy these at any local hardware store. These things here, I'm not sure if you buy them at the hardware store or not. I'm sure they have them like Home Depot and Lowe's. Basically, just a little drum sander. The rubber arbor. Put your. This is a coarse, a coarse disc. And you have a finer disc. Put in there. Basically, it's a sander. That's all it is. I'm gonna try this thing out in my drill <coughs> and check out this. Um, knock these burrs out of that inside of that tube. I'm gonna check this pipe here for fit. I'll try this deburring tool first. Probably kind of got to grab me because it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty rigid stuff here. Let me grab me a piece of wood here so I can get up where I can see it. Okay, so I'll tip the camera down here so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Now this thing's kind of, this is kind of aggressive when it cuts. So you want to hold on to it. So I'm going to hold on to the saw or the drill here with both hands. The 
foot over here to keep this thing from rolling around. See these little splinters sticking up here? They're very, very sharp. So if you're going to use one of these deburring tools, I recommend wearing leather gloves. Because these things will have little wickers that get into your fingers that you can't find for days. So I'm going to stop this where I'm at now because this is just too aggressive for this job here. I'm going to go to my sanding disc, my sanding drum. Try that out. The way this thing works is, you put this in your drill, like this, on this end, like so. This is a little nut on the end here. That does, if you get it chucked in, you turn this thing. And it compresses that rubber against this thing here and tightens it up. I'm gonna try the I'm gonna try the Try the uh, abrasive wheel or the abrasive disc here first. Put that in there. Give it a quick turn. Opposite direction. Compresses it. I'm gonna get too tight because it'll break. I'm going to get it snug. Now it won't fall off of there. Okay. Drill setting. See how that looks? That burr is still, still there a little bit, not as bad though. I'll keep working on it. That's how you do it though. It's pretty simple. I'll show you what it looks like here. See how it looks in there? All that's gone, that's what you want. Nice and smooth. This way, whenever you put a pipe in there, it's slide in nice and fit. Be a nice tight fit. I'm going to put a couple drills. I'm going to drill a hole through here and the pipe. This will hold this. And the other part, I'll do the same thing with it, drill a hole through it, put a thing there, be a nice joint.